Hi everyone. Today we are talking about artificial intelligence which is getting more and more important in our world. In this video by Golagica we will look at different types of AI, what they can do, how they help society, where they are used and who uses them. Golagica is here to help you learn and land your dream job. We are here for you as every step of the way with the support practice testers and free study materials learning with golagica is easy and flexible our teachers will guide you at your own pace so let's move on to the program to see what we will be covering in this session first up we are going to talk about ai next we will discuss the various ways in which artificial intelligence is revolutionizing our world then we will explore the different types of ai and their various fields and functionalities we are going to talk about how the smart technologies could change things learning about them is so cool so let's start this journey together feel free to ask questions share your thoughts and let's have the free learning together let's get started ai which stands for artificial intelligence it's all about teaching computers to think like humans so they can learn solve problems understand language and make decisions think about siri and alexa they are like helpful friends who use smart computer things to help us out a guy named john mccarthy came up with the term artificial intelligence in 1956 he thought it meant making machines act like people but people had been thinking about this for a long time before that in the 1950s computer started to get better at doing small things and now with big data and machine learning smart computer stuff is getting even better We are seeing cool things like deep learning and neural networks. Let's see how AI is changing our world in this exciting field. Speed and efficiency. AI accelerates task completion and improves effectiveness and sparking innovation. Problem solving. AI addresses complex challenges beyond human capacity, leading to innovative solutions. automation ai streamlines repetitive task improving efficiency and productivity across industries and freeing humans for more creative detection decision making ai analyzes huge data sets providing valuable insights for informed decision making in finance healthcare and further personalization ai personalizes experiences in marketing and entertainment to individual preferences it's offering personalized advice in economic growth ai drives innovation and economic expansion creating new industries and supporting productivity investments in ai research and development provide a competitive edge in the global market let's see how artificial intelligence benefits society artificial intelligence is moving society and our daily lives Firstly let's talk about efficiency and decision making AI significantly improves the speed of common processes thereby moving workplace efficiency and decision making moreover AI possesses the cap- capability to detect and resolve issues that humans might miss or find challenging to address independently Every day AI plays a more significant role in shaping our daily experiences human like reasoning let's look into how AI mirrors human task processes AI's capacity for independent thinking and learning is advancing when a computer program imitate human cognitive abilities it qualifies as AI AI is changing many industries jobs get done better and faster with AI technology is easier to use now we can predict things more accurately and AI is making a big difference in different areas of work 
computers can do task without making mistakes which is helpful in jobs that need to be done accurately but ai can find patterns in information that people might miss this can help us come up with new ideas and invention let's see how ai working in various fields here are some fields given in healthcare ai helps doctors identify problems in x-rays and mris it suggests treatments based on how your health history is it can also predict potential health outcomes in automotive self driving cars use ai to drive by themselves ai also guesses when cars need fixing so they don't break down it helps with traffic too to make driving safer in retail stores ai suggests things to buy based on what you like it helps stores have enough things to sell and it talks to customers online to help them buy things In manufacturing AI helps make things in factories by saying when machines need fixing it also looks at things being made to find mistakes in agriculture AI used to grow crops better by looking at pictures from the sky it finds bugs and sickness in plants early to stop them from getting worse education In schools AI helps students learn better by changing how they learn and it talks to students online to help them with learning for customer service it's utilized in creating chatbots and visual assistants and analyzing customer sentiment within manufacturing machine learning is applied to predictive maintenance ensure quality control and optimize supply chains Regarding security its aids in facial recognition detecting threats and improving cyber security measures let's talk about the different types of artificial intelligence there are a few kinds each with its abilities and uses let's take a look at them first is based on ability ability which is refers to the specific capabilities or skills that an ai system possesses it's about what the ai can do how it performs tasks and what kind of intelligence it it exhibits based on ability the ai comes with different three types first there is a narrow ai also called weak ai it's made for specific jobs like recognizing voices or looking at pictures you have probably seen it with phone assistants like siri or alexa can answer questions set alarms or play music they are good at specific tasks but cannot perform tasks outside of their programmed abilities For example it can tell what's in pictures because it's been trained on lots of labeled images not because it knows what those things are the second type is artificial general intelligence also known as strong ai agi means ai systems that can use what they have learned to solve new task without help from people AGI is designed to mimic human intelligence it can learn understand and apply knowledge across various tasks similar to how humans think and learn for example this is more of a theoretical concept at this point with the examples in science fiction a general AI could potentially learn to play chess cook a recipe write poetry and perform a wide range of tasks agi can learn and do any mental task humans can making it very flexible the third type is artificial super intelligence super ai is like really smart artificial intelligence right now it's just an idea kind of like agi 
If it's ever created, super AI would be much smarter than humans. Super AI might be able to understand how people feel and even have its own feelings, needs, beliefs and desires. Even though super AI isn't real yet, thinking about it can help us understand what might happen with future technology. For example, this is largely discussed in the realm of science fiction. Imagine a robot that can solve complex problems, compose symphonies or predict global events with incredible accuracy. And then the next one is the concept of functionality in artificial intelligence. Functionality refers to how AI applies its learning capabilities to process data, respond to reason and interact with its environment. AI can be categorized into four main types based on how it functions. Think of functionality as what an AI system is designed to do. It's like the job or task it's given. Just like how your phone has apps for different tasks, AI systems have specific jobs they are good at. Types of AI based on functionality. The first one is reactive machines. This AI systems react to what's happening right now, like a quick reflex. Uh, imagine a robot playing a game. It looks at the game board and makes a move based on what it sees, but it does not remember past games or learn from them. A second one is limited memory AI. This AI system learns from their experiences, sort of like how you remember not to touch a hot stove after burning yourself. Example, think of a self-driving car. It learns from each drive, like knowing when to stop at a red light or how to handle a turn based on what it learned before. Theory of Mind AI This AI tries to understand and protect human feelings and thoughts. A bit like how you might guess how your friend is feeling by their expression. Example, imagine a robot that can tell if you are happy or sad by looking at your face. It then reacts to your emotions, right? Likewise, the theory of mind AI works. Self-aware AI. This is the most advanced idea. AI that's aware of itself, like knowing it's a robot with thoughts and feelings. This is mostly in stories for now, like robots in movies that think and feel like people. So, think of AI functionalities like different tools in a toolbox. Each tool has a specific job. It's great at. As we keep developing AI, we are aiming to make them smarter, more helpful and even better at understanding us humans. It's a big and exciting field full of possibilities. AI is a big area with lots of different parts. Let's talk about some of them. Machine learning teaches computers to learn from data and make decisions without being told exactly what to do. Deep learning is good at recognizing pictures and understanding languages. NLP helps computers understand and talk to people in languages like when you chat with a virtual assistant. Computer vision helps computers recognize faces or objects in pictures. Robotics is about making robots that can do things by themselves like cleaning or assembling things. Expert systems are smart programs that give advice or make decisions based on a lot of knowledge about a topic. Knowledge representation and reasoning. This is about organizing and using knowledge in a computer to solve problems. Automated planning and scheduling. This helps computers figure out the best way to plan tasks and use resources. 
Game playing. This is about making AI that can play games like chess or video games really well. AI principles and justice. It's all about making sure AI is used fairly and responsibly so it does not cause harm or treat people unfairly. The great career opportunity in the field of AI. You can choose to work as a data scientist, AI research scientist, robotics engineer or AI consultant. AI professionals are needed in many industries such as healthcare, finance, automotive, retail, telecommunications and even in agriculture. In India, AI professionals can earn around 23 lakhs per annum. You can learn AI skills from online institutes like Golajika. Let's explore this career paths further and discover the opportunities in the world of artificial intelligence. We might not be able to make machines that can solve all problems and think of things for themselves yet. But we should try to learn how machines can train themselves and make decisions based on what they have learned before. I hope this appearance helped you understand the different kinds of artificial intelligence. If you want to start a career in AI, you can check out Golajika AI program. At Golajika, we are not just an instructor. We are here to help you learn and move forward in your career. We offer lots of different courses and tools to help you succeed. At Golajika, we think we are doing well when you do well. Whether you want to get a new job, learn more for a support or just try something new, we are here to help you. We will support you with a friendly attitude and lots of resources. Do you have any questions about this appearance? If you do, please leave them in your comment section. Our team will try to help you as soon as possible. Come join us at Golajika where we care about your goals a lot. Let's learn, grow and succeed together. We are covering up the session now. Thank you all for joining us and I hope you learned something new.